Hey guys, Old School Brian here. Uh, today I got an unboxing for you. Um, this is one of my couple pickups that I've gotten in lately. I just haven't gotten around to them. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but I have a couple things coming in, so I won't be exactly sure until I open it up. This one actually showed up today, so I just figured I would get it out of the way. Why would you use bubble wrap and throw packing peanuts in? I hate packing peanuts. Alright, this is what I was hoping it was going to be. I recently picked this up on a website. Uh, this is a vintage video game system. Um, some of you might recognize it, some of you might not. This is an APF uh, TV Fun Model 401. APF TV Fun Model 401A. Uh, when I bought it, I thought it was a TV Fun Model 401, but um, maybe they just had gotten the listing wrong. Either way, I think it's, I'm not sure, but I think it's the same thing as a 401 anyway. I don't know what the the difference is, if there is any. I don't think it's much, because the, the, the owner's manual says 401. Um, basically, this system is a system that came out in 1976. It started being produced and released out of Japan. Um, APF is a company that used to make calculators. Well, back then they used to make calculators and like small electronic stuff. And the APF series is what, you know, catapulted them into the video game system, um, market. Uh, they started make, this was the first model that they made, I believe the 401 or 401A. I think they're the same thing though. I'm not sure, but this is the first model that they made. And then they went on to make a couple different similar models, um, a 402, a 405, um, a couple 440-somethings, and I think a 500. So they made a bunch of them. It's got two dials. These basically are your controls. And then you have your different game selections, um, star on and off, all nice silver dials with the wood grain. It's basically how they made stuff back then. Everything was wood grain and silver made it look more um, I don't know upper class I don't know what the word would be you got your switches for amateur and professional all right and then you got your angle use hit on whatever um, this there's four built-in games in this tennis hockey squash and single handball basically pong all pong games they had a pong chip in them that a lot of companies back then were putting into their systems but they all basically do the same thing. It's more of like a sports simulation type console. Um, pretty cool though. I've never played one. I've never even tried one out. I've seen them played. I've seen gameplay of them. Um, but I've never had one. And I thought, you know, I'd like to get them. Um, I couldn't find one in the box. So this will do. I'm actually, I want to try this out. I believe it takes C batteries on the back here. Oh, it's got batteries with it. Nice. And they probably work, too. These batteries probably work. And I only think that because the people that I bought this system from, I buy a decent amount of stuff from. And they always try everything out beforehand, before they send it out. Uh, the plug, the AC adapter looks like it's in good shape. And... Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can clean up the silver a little bit. Should clean up well. But um, definitely a cool vintage system. Um, these control your bats or whatever you're using. They shoot up and down the screen. And I guess that's about it. Um, pretty cool system. I look forward to picking up the rest. Hope I can find them in boxes. But if not, 
this will do. Um, and even if it's not the funnest system, it's still going to look pretty cool on the shelf. And that's it, guys. So that's my unboxing. Uh, I got a couple more for you guys coming up. And that's it. I'm not going to bore you anymore with a vintage video game system from 1976. I'm going to go try it out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, thumbs up. And I will see you guys later.